DUIs involving death or murder. So normally if you're charged with a DUI, uh, you're facing a class A misdemeanor. However, if you're charged with a DUI, you've been drinking and driving, and you get into a bad car accident, or you hit a pedestrian, you can and will be charged with DUI death. Um, what that means is you'll be facing a class two felony. And if one person dies, you could do up to 14 years in jail. And if two people or more die, you could do up to 28 years in jail uh, for this offense. One difference between a regular DUI and a DUI involving death, besides the obvious fact that an individual dies, is that the prosecutors have an additional element that they need to prove. That additional element would be that your, that person's death was the proximate cause of your actions. Meaning that if not for you being drunk and driving, this person would not have died as a result of the accident or as a result of you hitting them. So one good defense would be if you were charged with a DUI uh, involving the death of another individual and you were at a stoplight and that vehicle actually hit your car, if you stopped and you at no point in time moved your car, then your defense would be that your driving, your actions was not the proximate cause of this person's death. Um, another thing a lot of people ask about is vehicular homicide or vehicular manslaughter. Um, what these are, that's another way that you can be charged if you were drinking and driving and your uh, drinking and driving killed someone. The actual charge is called reckless homicide. Um, in cases where someone dies uh, as a result of a vehicle, the, the punishment is the same. Um, the charges are essentially the same. They're just proven different ways. You don't actually need to be drunk to be charged and be found guilty of reckless homicide. However, it is a way that you can recklessly drive and because of that reckless driving, you end up killing someone, um, you can be charged with reckless homicide. The same, punish <clears throat> excuse me, the same punishment can apply uh, for the first time for one person who dies, it could be up to 14 years in jail. And if two or more people die, it could be up to 28 years in jail for this. Uh, these charges are not eligible for probation. You have to show extraordinary circumstances, something completely out of the ordinary. The vast majority of these cases, if you're found guilty, you are going to see some uh, some prison time. And it, it's not just going to be one year, it's, it's multiple years in prison.